What's up guys, what's up YouTube, what's up Sierra Leone, what's up wherever you are watching me from bro What's up Facebook man, if you guys don't know I just see like 6,000 followers on Facebook bro, I'm growing, I'm growing And like a thousand followers within 24 hours Bro, the love is huge And I can't express how much I'm feeling man Like you guys are just awesome, you're just awesome so I told you guys that I'll bring you an update concerning um, Taz mostly and uh, I was on Facebook yesterday the reason why I've not been posting like rapidly I'm just trying to grow my Facebook account to at least get to more than 10k followers okay so I was on Facebook live yesterday made a video about uh, this lady what's her name China Nikki and also Tasmo please so I always tell some few people and ask for details and this goes again to each and every one of you if you know you have any details about Tasmo please please feel free and send me an info and I'll make sure I put it out till we'll get the correct source until we're able to meet the right people but my concern is this this brother was arrested okay it was not kidnapped why is it that we are not getting any information from the police or any family member or anyone? That's my problem. The guy just, it's like, he just got ghosted. Okay, so according to this brother, I tried to instigate him yesterday for him to come live with me. And he refused. So I don't know how reliable this source might be, but it's also a source. And he was continually saying... The same stuff, okay? But I think he's an elderly guy. So I will not put his face here or put the particular statements here for you to read, but I'll read it so you guys will understand, okay? So I was asking concerning Tasmo Slees. So this is what he first stated, that we haven't seen him being in court or anything. He said he was last seen in court uh, in January 18th, 2022. Court number one at Pademba Road. So, Tasmo Slays was in court the 18th of January 2022, court number one, Pademba Road, according to this brother man. Okay, so if any of you guys have any details about that or at that particular day on the 18th of January, court number one, if Tasmo Slays was there, and you feel like you want to, you want me to talk about that, and you have an information, please send it to me. And he continue. I ask him on what charges Tasmus Lees was was arrested for when they went to court. So he just made some points to me by saying, "I agree with some speakers that we have a big mental health crisis in Sierra Leone. We have to first be genuine and honest to ourselves." Okay, this is what he said, that he agreed with some of us. As you all know, when this Tasmus Lees thing came up, I think I'm the first person to ever say that. Instead of they taking this brother to prison or whatever, or jail or whatever, they're supposed to take him to a, a psychiatric home. At least let him check his mental health because it's more, it's like a priority. Sometimes you might think what he's doing is with his five senses, but at the end of the day, something is distracting this brother based on how the forum and how he did it. So the brother said, I agree with you people. Some of you people are talking about mental health crisis in Sierra Leone, and it's really important. Some of us need to start looking into it. But going further, the brother did not release any other information. But my call to the government is this, and call to the people, please. Tasmo Slees is an individual that got the attention of so many people a few months ago. And a whole lot of people, his fans, his followers, want to know his whereabouts. How far? Let's say he has gone against an ethnic group and violated some few laws, but at least the community... Are trying to find a way to at least know where he is because he was not kidnapped he was arrested so that means there's supposed to be informations of the time that he will attend court the time that they were sent into prison or wherever 
or whatever information, but no information from the police. I reached out to his personal Facebook and I sent a message to him, but nobody responded. By the way, before he went to jail, I was having a conversation with him that he told me that he wanted me to react to his album that he released. So I sent another message. Maybe I'm thinking somebody will reply, but nobody replied. That means he doesn't have any access to his social media account, which is not fair and which is not okay. Okay, so please, guys, whoever is in charge of this case, let's know how this brother is doing. Let's know. What is going on? We know he has committed something that is really bad, which is fact, 100%. But we need to know how he's doing. We need to know about his health too. So we know that, okay, this case of Tasmo has been taken to somewhere, or this case of Tasmo has been, you know, whatever, whatever that you guys plan to do. But the public demand uh, an update for the brother. If you can, if there is any updates or any of you guys have any info about this brother, please DM me. That's all I have to say, and stay focused for China Nikki. Very soon, a serious information will be dropped. Okay? Peace out.